Hello everyone. Welcome to the Imprint Explained. And today we're going to talk about uh, the announcement uh, of uh, the Project Dolphin. This was done at the Red Fort on 15th of August, though the permissions were pretty much done much, much before that. Uh, it was first discussed in December. So the India Water Protocol says, uh, you know, the question is Project Dolphin, why is it important to save a declining species? So the question we will answer in this video is that uh, why is it important to do this? Now, uh, this is an article from the Indian Express. In case you're interested, uh, do take a printout of this for your notes uh, in case you are preparing for some exam. If not, it's fine, right? I would say. So uh, let's continue. So why does India need the project dolphin? So the idea is that the Gangatic dolphins are, you know, if you think about the historical, uh, you know, when they were discovered, it was in 1800. So, and uh, they're one of the oldest creatures, uh, along with some species of turtles, crocodiles, and sharks, according to the World Wildlife Fund. Now, uh, there is a council. Now, we talked about the fact that this was done long, long ago. The Project Dolphin was given approval in December itself. So it was a National Ganga Council. Now, this can be asked in you know, prelims and various objective exams. Uh, it was first uh, in December, met uh, after 2016. So what they did was they wanted to have a concept of river cities and they wanted to have some connections, you know, uh, uh, with, with the cities and the rivers. So they thought of they need there's a need to enhance and save the population of dolphin so that is the basic crux of it now who, who are a part of this council this is important for your prelim exam uh, the council consists of five uh, the chief ministers uh, that is from uttar pradesh west bengal uttarakhand bihar and jharkhand basically the river, river bed of ganga uh, now it also has nine union ministers and the Niti Aayog chairman. And so in case you know, don't miss this, uh, so there are a lot of people in this council. The objective is to protect, prevent, control, and abate environmental pollution in River Ganga. And the idea is we want to rejuvenate it. And Namami Ganga is somehow, uh, you know, you know, throwing bad, good money after bad, uh, you know, for so many years now. I think for like 30 years, nothing has been done there. Okay, so uh, what was announced uh, at that meeting was that let's have Project Dolphin. And finally, on 15th of August, uh, Narendra Modi, uh, our Prime Minister, he announced it from the Red Fort. He also talked about another project for Asiatic lions, in case you might be interested. Now, why is it important? So now, the reason is aquatic life is an indicator of the health of the river ecosystem. Now, remember the Gangetic dolphin as the top of the food chain, right? Remember, it's not a vegetarian, it's a non-vegetarian. Protecting the species and its habitat will ensure the conservation of the aquatic lives. The idea is if there are enough dolphins in the Ganga, it means the river is doing well. Now, uh, as I talked about the fact that, you know, in the Independence Day speech, uh, Narendra Modi talked about the fact that we should have a project dolphin. The idea is if it wants to say river and marine dolphin. So, you know, I think this is also to be noted. It is for both. Okay. This is important. Now, uh, the idea is it will be on the lines of Project Tiger. It will be implemented by the Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change. Though, you know, this ministry has been a lot of controversial news, I would say, in the last few months. Now, what is the Gangetic Dolphin? So, the Gangetic River system is variety is a home to a variety of uh, species. Uh, the Gangetic Dolphin, uh, Latanista Gangetica, that, that's what it is called. Uh, is one of the five species of dolphins around the world. And it is mainly found in the Ganga, Brahmaputra, Meghna, Karnafuli, Sangu River system. And uh, the Conservation Action Plan for Ganga River Dolphin 2010 to 20 describes male dolphins as 2.2 uh, 2 to 2.2 meters long, females are a little longer at 2.4, 2.6. Very interesting. I would say females are, are taller. Uh, in simple terms, uh, very interesting. And it weighs around 70 to 90 kgs. The breeding season is from J January to June. And they basically feed on several species of fishes or uh, invertebrates. Uh, during my time in my college, I did see a few dolphins in the Ganga in the in Alabad region, right? Uh, though very, very few sightings are normally done there. Now, the question is, what is the status? Now, uh, as we talked about the fact that, uh, you know, it is in the endangered category by the IUCN. This is important to be noted, right? Uh, they can only, now the very important thing about them is that they can only 
uh, live in fresh water. They are blind and they catch their prey using uh, ultrasonic waves. So this can be asked in your objective type. Then uh, some, one thing very, very important is in 2009, the Angetic dolphins were declared the national aquatic animal. Okay, so again, very, very important. Uh, remember, these dolphins prefer deep waters because we use ultrasonic waves. Uh, they're in Assam, they're in Uttar Pradesh, they're in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Bihar, Kharkhand, West Bengal. Okay, so seven states there. They're dwindling because they've been you know, directly killed. There's habitat fragmentation by dams and barrages. And then there is indiscriminate fishing. What happens, the uh, fishermen even, uh, you know, First, they you know fish them out. Then they think, oh shit, right, not required, and then they throw them back and they die. Uh, what about the numbers? How many are there? So you know, WDF says twelve hundred to eighteen hundred. Uh, MOEFCC they talk about the fact that as in Assam that nine sixty two, there is twelve seventy five. Uh, right. Uh, Assam basically says that, okay, there were more, there were less. Uh, UP says we had uh, 691, and in 2015, they said that we have more, we have 1272. Assam says uh, with the three river systems with Brahmaputra, we have 877 of the 962 dolphins. Okay. Uh, very interestingly, it is also the state aquatic animal of Assam. This is important, right? Maybe the, this can be asked as well. So again, uh, this is there, but you know, the idea is that what to do. So in Assam, at least they have uh, stopped the sand lifting and silting uh, to maintain its population. As we talked about, why is it important? Remember, uh, so if you Think about the COVID lockdown. What happened? So the river, the Ganga River, the Yamuna River, which was never seen to be clean, became clean. It tells you how we have mistreated our rivers. And uh, in the 19th century, dolphins were seen in the Yamuna as well as far as Delhi. Now, the construction of dams, barrages have led to, uh, you know, uh, decline in the population. Uh, remember, aquatic life is the indicator of health of the river ecosystem uh, in time uh, if this is uh, the rivers are not rejuvenated what will happen is they will just become like some old gutter that you see around your houses okay now uh, have other governments also use aquatic life as an indicator of health. So there are many examples. There's a Rhine Action Plan of 1987 of the International Commission of Protection of the Rhine. It represents uh, Switzerland, France, G uh, Germany, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. And they brought back the salmon, right? And they basically saw that the migratory fish is the indicator of the river's uh, uh, improved health. Salmon used to migrate from the North Sea to the Rhine every year and reproduce. But when the pollution increased, they stopped doing so. So in a chemical in incident caused the death of microorganism in fish, the action plan was launched and they basically focused on the quality of river water and the salmons began to return. So while the salmon was considered lost in 1958, 700 salmons in the North Sea uh, returned to the Rhine every year and reproduced naturally there according to the Rhine assessment 2020 and the ICPR report. So this is a very good example. Okay, this can even, you can actually talk about in your essay, this example, if in, you know, it is an essay on environmental rejuvenation, right? Uh, what can you do about Ganga if there is a question on the Mami Gange? So what has been done? Uh, three things have been done. There's a Wildlife Protection Act. Uh, Gangetri dolphins are in the first schedule, right? It, this, is, this was done in 1986 itself. Uh, there's a check in hunting and conservation facilities are there. There's a Vikramashila Gangetic Dolphin Sanctuary in Bihar. That is important to note again. There's a conservation plan, uh, right? Uh, also, as we talked about before, uh, basically it identifies Gangetic dolphin threats, uh, river traffic, irrigation canal, and how is depletion of uh, dolphin population happening? Then, fine, uh, we talked about this fact that in 2009, uh, Manmohan Singh, uh, in his maiden meeting of the National Ganga River Basin Authority, declared the Gangetic River dolphin as a national aquatic animal. This is important, right? And uh, there is also a National Ganga River dolphin. Day in October 5. Now, what kind of questions can come uh, in the prelims? So, um, the question is National Aquatic Animal of India. As you know, that's the engaging topic. If it was a question of National Heritage Animal of India, the answer would have been the elephant. Okay, just to note that. Uh, there's another question on the National. Uh, Ganga Council. The first statement is the council consists of chief ministers from five states and the prime minister. Uh, now, the question is, how do I interpret this? 
you know, because they're you know, union ministers and the Niti Aayog person as well. It is headed by the prime minister. Its objective is to protection and all that. So these two is not a problem. This is debatable. Now, the question is, uh, normally you would say that, okay, so I would like to click D. Okay, it will depend. I think it's a lot of people are saying that, you know, this might be, uh, if this was written only, it uh, might be the answer. But I would still say that answer should be B because it is not fully correct. Okay. Now, which of the following uh, reverses uh, statements are true uh, regarding the Ganga dolphin? The Ganga dolphin is one of those five species of dolphins around the world, correct? Uh, they can only live in fresh water, correct? They are blind and cast their universe, so correct. So, answer is D. Now, with that, we come to an end. Do join our Telegram group for the PDF of this lecture. If you have any questions, uh, you can call us or email us, uh, right? Imprintknowledgesolutions at gmail.com or our number is 6280187919. Thank you so much for listening.